If you have any experience traveling with your cat, you're probably familiar with the struggle of finding a hotel that accommodates cats. I recently took my cat to Lake Tahoe and stayed at this cute little place called Hotel Beckett and this was our experience. A lot of hotels that say they're pet friendly really mean they're only dog friendly, so I did call ahead of time to make sure that they are in fact cat friendly. As far as the atmosphere, I loved the wooden rustic vibe of this place. Totally my style and I found the perfect spot for pretty much all of Meister's things including his teepee by Travel Cat, his food and water bowls, and a corner that was perfectly out of the way for the litter box. Outside they have a beautiful fire pit that we relaxed by on our very first night. It was completely empty so we had the place to ourselves which made Meister more comfortable with walking around and exploring the area. The fire pit area is also decorated with string lights so it's beautiful at night. On weekends, they also offer complimentary s'mores kits. Our first night there was on a Sunday, so luckily we were able to take advantage of that. Meister and I roasted marshmallows. I burnt mine just the way I like it. He judged me for it. It was a good time. They also have an outdoor recreational area around the other side of the hotel, perfect for lounging and playing cornhole. The hotel does have a pool, but getting there is a little bit confusing. You have to go down a couple flights of stairs and through a parking garage to get there. But if you get lost, just follow the giant bear paws on the ground. We didn't really use the pool, so I don't really have a B-roll of that. Just use your imagination. As far as amenities and comfortability, the bed was super comfortable. Meister thought so too. I felt comfortable and safe staying there. I feel like for a small hotel room, the amenities that were available are pretty standard. They have an AC that worked actually really well, a mini fridge, plenty of storage if you're someone who actually unpacks their things. I am not. An iron and ironing board. Who still does that? Not me. A safe, a shower, no tub, a hairdryer, and a TV. The hotel is located right on the main strip near State Line and South Lake, so it's in a great location within walking distance to everything we needed. There is so much to do all around. We did a lot of walking, checked out lots of pet-friendly restaurants, made some friends, relaxed on the beach, and on our last night we checked out a brand new distillery and restaurant called Shed Cat, where my Meister was the first cat to ever visit. We called before we went to make sure we could bring him. Service animals are allowed inside, but animals that are not registered service animals are allowed on the dining patio, which is also decorated with lots of string lights, so it's really pretty during the evening. We had some wine and watched the sunset. It was really nice out, perfect temperature, and the most well-behaved cat. The staff was amazing. Everyone was super excited to see Meister, and they told us that they've been waiting for us since we called. They were so friendly and accommodating and I definitely want to go back. I think that's my new favorite restaurant in the area. The food is great too. We got the wings which comes with a berry sauce and garlic aioli with jalapeno which was the best part. Even the berry sauce doesn't sound great but it it is. I also got a watermelon and feta salad. I was feeling adventurous and somebody recommended it to me as we were walking in. And so, watermelon and feta does not sound like it goes together, but trust me, I'm glad I tried it. The price of the room is around 120 to 130 per night. So some pros, I experienced a high level of comfort and safety the entire time. Free s'mores, everyone there loved cats and loved seeing me out with Meister and stopping to say hi to him. Everyone was just super friendly and accommodating. It's a great location and a relatively inexpensive nightly rate. Couple of cons with the room, like the big beautiful wooden bathroom door which was way too difficult to open and close, and other little things like the shower door being loose and the water from the faucet and shower going in a weird angled direction, making it a little difficult to shower because I had to stand on my toes and back like all the way into a corner just to get any water and the shower head like could not be adjusted or it would like come off. I think I didn't want to try. But overall, we really enjoyed our stay. It's a great little place that I definitely recommend staying if you're planning a trip with your cat. Let us know in the comments if this was helpful or if you have any cat friendly recommendations for us. If you like this shirt, you can get it from our shop, which will be linked in the description. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review.